inside you, does it make sense to you, Jesus, to be God? Seriously, inside you. Is this your feeling tells you to do that? It's mixed for me. Siraj! Follow me, Siraj! Does it make sense Summon to you? Siraj, follow me! Why are you running, Siraj? This is the Christians. And be baptized again as an adult because I don't have a clear cut answer. So for me, in order to shift in my beliefs, I need to understand the new Good. things. So therefore, that's let why me, I am stuck with, still at me, the moment, Christianity. And of course, I also looked into Unitarian, for example. Why don't I believe? Why don't I? Why am I not a Unitarian Christian? Um, because of the Trinity concept that is highly debatable. So I am researching things, but the reason why I'm still stuck with Christianity because my questions are not answered clearly for me yet. Good. Now let me tell you something. Uh, there's an easy way for you, and that makes sense to you. The easiest way is basically, you said uh, we need to question, before I change, I need to question these things. Let's question the main concept in every single faith, the main concept. There is in every single faith, there is one main concept in every single faith. Then if we question this, and if it, if it makes sense to us, then we follow that. So the main concept of Christianity based on Trinity, correct? Yes, that's the main concept. All Christianity relies on this concept. Relies that the, the Trinity, that there is the Father, God Father, there's the God Son, there's the Holy Ghost, that those are three persons for one God, and it, uh, each one, they are co-equal, yeah? They are co-equal, similar to each other, etc. Yeah? So they, they believe this. That's the main, the main doctrine. Yes? Now, let's question this based on the faith that you follow. You, you came from a Christian background. Now, if you want to, def to define God, yeah, let's say what defines God. Yeah? Let's, let's agree on three, th three principles. God has to be all-powerful, correct? Yes. God has to be all-knowing, correct? Yes. God should have independent will, correct? Yes. So these are the three main concepts about God. Yeah? There are other, of course, there are many things, but the, of course the creator of the heavens and the earth, etc. But we're talking about these things, these, these four things. Now, let's apply this to the Christianity and then we'll answer. Because you believe, have to believe, as you, as you a Christian, as a believer in Jesus, please be upon him to be a God for you, for example. Now, ask this question to yourself. Was Jesus all powerful? <laughs> so there lies the question like, who, who gave who the power? Like, was it power simple. through Jesus? Was it God Himself? Basically, simple. Was He all powerful? But when you question about the Father, was the Father all powerful? You would say yes, correct? In Christianity. But when it comes to Jesus, is Jesus or was Jesus all powerful? I think most Christians will say if God's willing, then yeah. Meaning that so I don't have I don't have my personal answer for it, but I You think should have, you should have. Because yeah, I'm here like I'm, I'm, I'm So simple. Since you didn't answer, that means Jesus is not all powerful. Was unable to protect no, you, himself. Since I don't answer, I don't have my answer for myself. Yeah. Do you see the, the understanding, yeah, yeah, my, I my sister? Your point. I so if, if God is, is if God is if Jesus is not all powerful, that means not God. But when you say God is all powerful, that means all powerful. It doesn't mean becomes weak sometimes. It doesn't mean you know he sometimes God you know will be will relax a bit. Doesn't text doesn't become doesn't work. Doesn't work. You see, all powerful always all powerful always will be all powerful. There is no single point in the existence, yeah? There is no single point that becomes weak. There is no way. Uh, that's why when we describe God to be all powerful, that has to be all powerful always, salam. But when, it, when, it, when we apply it to Jesus, that the answer is no, because it's impossible to God to be all powerful, uh, to Jesus to be all powerful. We'll ask the next, the next question. Was Jesus, was Jesus all knowing? Then the point comes up like, Father, why have you forsaken me? Not just that. When, he, when Jesus was asked a clear question, which all the prophets and messengers been asked this question, when is the hour? The answer of Jesus was, no one knows about it, but the Father, neither the, the Son nor the angels, the only one knows about the hour is the Father. So confirm that Jesus has is ignorant about the hour. And someone to say, but this is the this is the God's Son, this is the, the, the you know the, the the man, this is the man of Jesus, but the, the God of Jesus something else. Who said he didn't say that? He said Jesus the Son doesn't know about the hour. Yeah? Is Jesus, does, did Jesus have an indi independent will? Did he have independent will? 
meaning he will decide to do things without referring to no one. Without to refer to no one. Basically, he said, let it be not my will, but yours. So he doesn't have an independent will. So that shows, with these questions, Jesus didn't take any of the boxes to be divine. And yet, and yet, you say, I need to know. Just like we have, by the way, we have a, a, a Jordanian saying, we have an Arabian saying. He said, that Arabian said, that it's a goat even if it flies. Basically, you know that. I will tell you what's the difference with this. So two people, they saw something, yeah? Someone, he said, he said, this is a, it's a bird. The other one, he said, no, it's a goat. He said, look, it's a bird, it's, it's a bird, look at it. So no, no, it's a goat, it still is a goat. So they went closer. So look, it has feathers, feathers, look at the feathers, it's impossible. Goat doesn't have hair, doesn't have, he said, even some goats, they have feathers, yeah? So they get closer, look at it, it has horns, it has legs, it has no wing, he sees even. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it has it has wings. It doesn't have horns. Doesn't have all of this. He said even some goats they have wings. Some goats they have you know peaks. They have all of that. So then the bird starts flying. So look, it flies. He said some goats as well. It fly. They fly. <laughs> so the point is exactly what some Christians they do. So even yeah, he said the only true God is the Father. What are you going to do about it? When Jesus said the only true God is the Father, what are you going to do about it? He is saying, oh, the only true God is the Father. And you say, no, he is God, still he is God. I need to think about it. I need to check, I need to find out. He is saying to you, the only true God is the Father. Does, that, does it make sense to you that's impossible for Jesus to be God? Impossible. Zero possibility that he was God. Does it make sense to you now? It's from, from the, I'm not bringing Islamic, you know, uh, uh, resources. I'm talking about the Bible, what the Bible says. Jesus said, confirm the only true God is the Father. Jesus said, let it be not my will but yours. Jesus said, the only one knows about the world is the Father. Jesus, Jesus, he was weak. He was unable to protect himself, let alone to protect others. So all of these things shows Jesus was what? A man, correct? Wasn't God, correct? Inside you, you know this. I mean, why do you, why do you are reluctant? Inside you, you know this, correct? Even though you wear glasses, by the way, I, I could understand people. You know inside you, it is, it is impossible for Jesus to be God, correct? To say it. Where is God then? Where is God? If I say, where is like, he? The things you say, I know where about the things you say, so... Good. Um, and still I, I haven't said something like yes, and therefore it doesn't make sense, so... Uh, then after that, let's start searching other faith which makes sense to me. Basically, then if this concept, which is Christianity relies on, is totally false, that means I cannot be a Christian anymore. Do you understand? Now, do you accept that it doesn't make sense, Trinity? Come on. You always get an answer No. Me. No, you know the answer. Why are you reluctant to say it? If you know the answer, then tell me. If you have anything, tell me. Educate me. Tell me. Yes, yes. Like, I don't know the answer. That's why I'm... There is no one has the answer. The answer is clear. He answered, Jesus said, the only true God is the Father. He answered this. And yet you say he's God? He didn't say that. He said the only true God is the Father. Now here, what's your name by the way? Fiona. Fiona. Now Fiona, does it make sense to you that Jesus to be a prophet and messenger of God? He was sent by God. Do you agree on this? Yes, he brings the word of God. Yes. Good. And that's what messengers do. Yeah, he, he is a messenger. So he's not God. He's a messenger of God. Does it make sense more to you? I know you think about your mother, your father, the way that you brought up, the churches that you had attended, all of the things that you did. I'm not a, just don't think. Think about the truth now, because by the way, you're gonna be you're gonna be standing before God in the day of judgment, and God will be questioning you. And one of the questions you said, I I sent you such and such man in the park on this day, telling you Jesus is not God, and yet you're still worshiping him. I 
know. So that's why if you know the truth, then start moving and finding the truth. So again, I will question you if you want again. Does it make sense to you that Jesus to be a prophet and messenger of God, but not God? Does it make sense to you? It makes sense to me that he is at least a messenger. If he's also God, that's still something that's like... There is no, there is zero possibility that to be God with these three, with the question that I told. Zero possibility. He's not all powerful, not all knowing, doesn't have independent will. And he said the only true God is the Father. Simple as that. He's misrepresenting the passage. The only true so, God, you should read the whole passage. Okay. All right. Okay. Do you understand this? We're found by many, many hacklers, by the way. By the way, is, is this... Can I ask you a question? Is this the manner of a Christian? Is that the normal manner of a Christian? Anyways. All right. Let's carry on. By the way, that's, so this, I, I that's what we get. I completely understand what you're explaining. And um, yes, my behavior might be perhaps a bit like reluctant. It's, I, uh, no problem to be reluctant, but I know something in our, in uh, as a main concept for us as a human being, if I find the truth, I will follow the truth. If I find something which is wrong, I have to abstain from it. So for example, if you know you came, for example, if you wanted to go from here to, for example, to, uh, let's say, to Baker Street or something. Now you start, I will tell you, you walk on this path. If you know the path you're doing in the wrong direction, you don't just carry on in the wrong direction. Maybe you will find Baker City somewhere. So you have to go back to square one and start, you know, navigating to the right way. I find a very nice analogy and I think my approach would be, I want to be certain before I start walking in the new direction. So before, uh, before, we are not starting any direction. Go back to square one. The square one to believe, firstly, according to this concept. It's impossible for someone who's a human being to claim that he is God or to call him as God. Simple as that. So that's the main concept. Someone who's weak, someone who, who, uh, someone who, who has a baby, he needs care, someone to take care of him, changing his nappies, looking after him. That's, that's impossible to be God. So it says we can't do this. Need to be fed is impossible to be God. Do you understand this? I understand what you're saying. So that's why it can, it's impossible for that. It's, it's impossible. Do you understand what means impossible? So that's why, then, but it makes sense to be that he's a human being. He was a prophet and messenger of God, was sent by God, no problem. Do you see, you see yeah, the difference? Yeah, yeah. So that's why, that's the square one which I'm retaining you to. So then after that, we'll start navigating to which direction shall we go? Shall we accept this, firstly, as a main concept? That, yes, I agree that Jesus was messenger, a prophet of God, and it's impossible for him to be God. Simple as that, based on the things that we discussed. Shall we agree on this? Before navigating in any direction. I'm not telling you to become Muslim in the first place. Now, I'm telling you just to go back to square one, things that make sense. If you are in a jungle, you're born in a jungle, it's impossible for you to believe there's a human being became God and you have to worship him. It's impossible. Do you understand the point? But you will be inclined to believe there is a greater, there is a greater being, the creator of the heavens and that. He is the one who created us then you will be inclined to worship that creator. That's our nature. The, our nature will tell us this. But in our nature, it's impossible for us to tell us, and that's square one, by the way, or square zero. And that's why our nature doesn't tell us that there will be a man, you know, came from Jew family, and then, you know, became, uh, became God. So we, we can't comprehend this. So you need, basically, you need people. Yeah. You need these people to see, to keep imposing it, imposing it until you accept it. That's what happened to you. People impose this to you, then you become you 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 you, you thought that this is the truth. Well, it's not. The square one. When you're born as a baby, you never thought in your life that you're going to be a Christian, but because your your parents made you to do that, then you became what you are, basically. But you were born in a client that there is one God, and that God is the one who deserve to be worshipped, basically. So that's what I'm saying, that's square zero. Shall we go back to square zero to believe there is one true God? Yes. And this one true God, all powerful? Yes. All knowing? Yes. Has independent will? Yes. And this doesn't take to the books about Jesus, correct? Come on, just say. Now, for me, I do it. 
I follow completely what you say and how your approach is, uh, but I don't go along imme immediately with it. Listen, I'm listen. Sorry. I know, listen, listen. Seriously, inside you, does it make sense to you, Jesus, to be God? Seriously, inside you. Is this your feeling tells you to do that? Inside you. It's mixed for me. Siraj, follow me, Siraj. Does it make sense to you? Siraj, follow me. Why are you running, Siraj? This is the Christians. Siraj is here, you coward. Siraj is here, you chicken. Siraj, Siraj. Siraj. Listen, sister, come, come. Why are you running to the Muslim brothers? Yeah, he's come. running. He's now saying yes. I pushed him. And I'm yes, I'm here. Come on, Siraj. Follow me. Follow me. Why are you doing to I told you. Yeah, no, look, look, that's by the these are the Christians. That's what we face here. That's what we face here. The trial all the time. This is not the first time. By the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See here, that's what during what we face. They try every week. Literally every week. Come, come, sister. Come, come to the oh, right. You see here? You see what I can Yeah. So, what I wanted to leave you with, you see? Yeah. We, we as Muslims, we shouldn't be doing this. This is the manner. These are the manners of the Christian. The Christian, that's how they're manners. That's their manners. That's how they are. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the Do you know why? They believe, they believe the Holy Ghost is doing this to them. No, no, no. Siraj is doing The Holy Ghost is doing this to them. Look at the Holy Ghost. Look no. at him. Then you will know. Is preventing the Do you think that's true? I get what's going on. Thank you so much. Do you have Quran on you? I have. You have? Yes, I have.